So this is a world's first right here. This is the first ever Emirati designed smartphone. And it was designed right here in the UAE. And this is the first ever video review of it on YouTube. When it comes to smartphones, a few names will immediately come to mind. You've got Apple, Samsung, HTC, Huawei, Sony, LG, and most recently, young upstarts like Oppo, Xiaomi, and ZTE. There's one thing that ties all those brands together, however, and that's the fact that they are either American or Southeast Asian companies, which makes this smartphone, this smartphone right here, incredibly interesting. This is the Ba smartphone, which is made by Yahala which is the first Emirati-owned company to design smartphones in this country. That's right, this Android smartphone was thought up and designed right here in the UAE. There's a reason why this might be news to you. That's because Yahala, which launched in 2015, has been mostly active in Africa. But after selling more than 80,000 smartphones on the continent, it has decided to set its sights back on home turf. That's where the Yahala bar comes in. It's the flagship smartphone that Yahala hopes will put it on the map next to the big boys of the tech world, and our initial impressions are positive. The design is right on par with some of the best phones of the year. You get a sturdy metal back with a nice red hue, as well as a 5.5 inch screen, which uses dragon tail glass, making it extra sturdy. Under the hood lies a 2.6 gigahertz processor, making it one of the few smartphones in the world that comes with 10, yes, 10 processors. That makes it pretty good when it comes to things like multitasking or gaming. The phone also takes photography seriously. Both front and back facing cameras rock 13 megapixels and both come with a flash. That makes taking selfies in dark places even easier and is something that rivals like Apple and Samsung have yet to implement. It runs Android Marshmallow straight out the box, which is not the most recent iteration of Google's operating system, but it makes up for that by stuffing the phone full of local centric apps, such as Dubai Police, Dubai Airports, Dubai Now and Smart Dubai. There's also a fingerprint reader right under the home button. All in all, this is a solidly built smartphone with a good size screen and class leading processor. The cameras are decent and the front facing camera comes with a rarely seen flash. But the best bit is surely the price. At just under a thousand dirhams, this phone is a bit of a bargain, which means we're going to be seeing a lot more of Dubai's homegrown smartphone maker in the future.